Fresh sales for beginners, how to use fresh sales. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Freshworks fresh sales platform and start growing your CRM and make a account and set up your business on this platform. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you're going to go onto freshworks.com and uh, this was usually called fresh sales in the past, but now they have rebranded into freshworks.com. And then if you go onto the product section, you can see that they have three different tools. So you have your fresh desk, you have your fresh sales and you have your fresh marketer now we are focusing on fresh sales today so if you go on to the fresh sales section over here on fresh works you're going to be able to build the best software for your business so you can accelerate your revenue with context driven sales now how you can actually sign up is just by clicking on sign up over here and now you can sign up via a email account or your google account so i'm just going to continue with my google account now once you have created your account on fresh works or fresh sales you're going to be welcomed with a simple step to either import your contacts or connect an email to switch your crm platform if you were using any other platform but we're going to skip this and now you can see this is going to be your basic dashboard now on your dashboard you can see that this is your home page on the left and on the left you have an entire toolbar to navigate through the entire platform on your top right you have your account settings notifications and you have a what's new section as well to see the different features that fresh sales or freshworks is providing now this is going to start a 21 day free trial with all features but after a while some of the premium features are going to expire and then you're going to have to either update or uh, go on to the free version of Freshwork. So how does the Freshwork platform actually work? Well, first off, you can see if you go into your dashboard, you can, you're going to be able to monitor activities, analytics, and sales. So you can create different dashboards. So if you just click on this plus icon over here, so you can do this, and then you can add a report. You can add whatever report you might want to add. So let's just say maybe this is a sales forecast report you're going to click on that and this is going to add a simple basic report for you as a sample and then you can edit it now below that you have your contacts and accounts so with any crm tool it's very essential that you have a contacts and account section and over here you can monitor all of your different contacts clients people that you're working with and you can import contacts over here as well it's pretty simple to add and remove contacts over here so you can just click on add contacts from here and add a deal so anything that you need to add you can add directly from this plus icon on your top right now after that you have your account section and accounts is pretty similar to your contact so all of the people that you're dealing with all of the open business dealings that you're doing they're going to be present over here and this is going to monitor all of your selling and buying and this is going to help you keep track of that now after that you have your deals management section where you can see your deals sales forecast and activity goals so any deal that you make is going to be in the deal section you're going to be able to see forecasted revenues you can see follow-up revenues you can see under review deals you also have demo deals and then you even have negotiation deals so this is a very good section to actually monitor the amount of money you make with each of these deals now after that you have your sales forecast as well and that is going to enable you to see how large or how exponential your business is growing currently i don't have any details added to my account it's an empty account so there isn't a lot of forecasting going on now after that you have your sales conversion and on your sales conversion you have your inbox you have email templates sales sequences bulk emailing phone sms and voicemail drop so this serves you as a email marketing tool as well so you can do your marketing directly from the freshworks platform and you can just click on any of these platforms and connect them to the fresh sales platform and start emailing people directly now you can see you have a team inbox you have a separate inbox you have a scheduled sent all that and then you have bulk emailing features like metrics uh, scheduled bulk, bulk email drafts as well so if you're running a web store you can send draft emails like welcome emails thank you for signing up emails directly from the freshworks platform and below that you even have email tracking so you can see how many people are opening your email how many people are clicking on them and how many emails are being bounced and then you will also have all phone calls voicemail and sms services now below that you have your marketing automation so you have chatbots you have whatsapp campaigns and you have email marketing 
marketing campaigns and all of these can be automated very easily using the Freshworks platform. So you can automate different chat boxes and you can see and manage uh, manage answers and you can create custom flows. So you can click on manage flows over here and create a custom flow. So maybe if a customer asks, oh, I want help with the pricing of certain items, then you can add a standard response that is going to be added every time they type that in the chat box. And you can do the same with WhatsApp campaigns. So you can add some standard emails and have them work as your basic marketing tool. Now, after that, you have your admin settings. So you have your basic settings for your account and your overall business CRM. And you can manage different workflows over here as well. So you can separate different people's works from other people's work. And you don't have to use this as an individual account. This can work as your business account. And then you can add separate people into this CRM and start monitoring their workflow as well. So first off, you're going to create your workflow by going into your admin settings and clicking on manage workflows. And now you can see, you can just click on create workflow over here. Now you can add a workflow. Let's just say that we are doing WhatsApp campaign and then you're going to describe whatever it is. So let's say we're marketing clothes. Then you're going to apply your workflow. So what kind of workflow is this? Is this related to a certain contact? Is this for a specific business? Is it a simple task? If it is a meeting, if it is a deal or a call log? So if you change the category, obviously you are going to lose the workflow data that you have already added. But let's say if this is for a specific contact, we're going to continue and then you can add the actions that need to be performed. So you can see uh, different actions like update contact, update primary contact, all of these different tags and actions can be added directly and they can be completed by you later on. And after that, you're just going to click on save and then you can click on save and start. So we're going to add all of your fixed values like this. And just like that, your workflow has been created. So this is how easy it is to navigate through the Fresh Sales platform. And although they have a great number of features, they are exclusive. So on the free version of Freshworks, you're only going to get contact and account management. You're going to get contact lifestyle stages, built-in chat, email, and phone, uh, customer support, and mobile applications. While on the growth version that starts at $15, you're going to get visual sales pipelines, AI-powered predictive contact scoring, sales sequences, product catalog, log and custom reports and dashboards now after that they have a pro and enterprise version and their pro version is the most popular and i would say that if you're looking to upgrade to the uh, growth version i would suggest that you directly move up to the pro version because i don't feel like the growth version has the amount of features that it's going to cost you while although the pro version is more expensive you get multiple sales pipelines you get time-based workflows and you also have ai powered deal insights and next specs actions you also have chat campaigns and whatsapp business now, on the enterprise version, if you're running a very large business, then you can get custom modules, auto profile enrichment, AI-based forecasting, audit logs, and dedicated account managers for only $69 on their enterprise version. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to set up your business on the Freshworks platform. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.